well, this, this is going to shrink and this is going to expand. So maybe it'll be a wash, maybe not, we don't know. Uh, one thing's for sure, flooding is going to get bigger because in a warmer atmosphere, you're able to evaporate more moisture from the oceans up into the atmosphere. There will, there will be more water vapor that can turn into rain, heavy rain, and floods. So we do expect this slice of the pie to get much bigger over coming decades. Uh, but we're not so sure about these slices down here, tornado, severe thunderstorms, and lightning. Uh, those may not change much. So uh, let's continue on here. Okay, lots of squiggly graphs, so you'll have to just uh, hold your breath and get through these. Uh, <laughs> since 1895, when we started having good records, to uh, 2010, this is the U.S. temperature. It has increased by, oh, about a degree and a half Fahrenheit, something like that. It's, yeah, it's got some jiggles on it, but you can see the general kind of trend is upwards. All right, let's look more locally. What's the temperature done in Ann Arbor? Well, since 1895, yeah, sure enough, it's gone up too. Uh, actually, quite a bit more than the U.S. average, because uh, we're scaled here in centigrade. It looks like oh, maybe a degree and a half centigrade, close to three Fahrenheit. But you look at Detroit, yeah, maybe not so much. Not, not nearly as much as Ann Arbor. So while the general trend is upwards, there are a lot of <coughs> variations to this. I mean, yeah, it's global warming, but not every place is seeing it. On a planet as big and complicated as this, there's some places that'll warm more and some places that'll warm less.